Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to yet another Mechanism version 10 modded Minecraft guide where today we're going to be discussing all of the different types of cables and pipes and mechanism. Okay, it's super easy to get these confused when you're supposed to use them, where you're supposed to use them. But believe me, after today's video, just a few small little easy logical discussions you can have in your own brain to figure out which ones you're supposed to use because they're very specific. Okay, you have the basic universal cable, you have your mechanical pipe, you have your pressurized tube, you have your logistical transporters and your thermodynamic conductors. Now on the surface looking in, it's super confusing, but here's the basics. Each of these transfers a different state of matter or a different state of energy. All right, with the universal cable, you're transferring power, whatever you're using to power your different machines. Very important probably the most important one. You also have your basic mechanical pipes, which transfer liquids. You have your pressurized tubes, which transfer gases. You have your logistical transporters, which transfers solids or actual items. And then you have your thermodynamic conductors, which transfer heat. I've never used these before, but I'm gonna talk about them today anyway. So if I look <laughs> inside my chest, here are all the different items I need to make a stack of each of these. And we're gonna do them one at a time. And Again, today's video is specifically about helping you understand on your own with a, just a little bit of logic and paying attention to what things are called, which one you need to use and and when. So uh, first things first, to make the basic universal cables, which is the first one we're going to be discussing, as you can see there, all you need is steel on the left and the right and redstone in the middle. Now, this is actually really easy to remember because in vanilla Minecraft, the only source of power at all is redstone. So using redstone in this makes perfect sense. Now, if you don't know how to make steel, well, refer to the video before this in the playlist where we talked about the metallurgic infuser. So anyway, eight, eight and eight will give you an entire stack of this stuff. So that's pretty awesome. So if I turn around, I'll show you guys the A to B. Point A to point B. All these cables are about transferring something. All right. So here's the logical argument here. Basic universal cable. Now you can see capacity is eight kilojoules per tick. Now, if you know your science, then that already tells you that you're working with power or energy. But if you're not, let's use some logic. Okay. Whenever you plug in your phone, right? What are you plugging it into? A power cable. Exactly. So whenever this thing says basic universal cable, you see the word cable and you know it's dealing with power, right? Any of these other things, you don't plug your phone into a pipe. You don't plug your phone into a tube. You don't plug your phone into a transporter and you don't plug your phone into a conductor. You plug your phone into a cable. So now you know you use a cable for power. Very basic, very easy. And this is uh, just a demonstration. So as you can see, if I plug this into, this is by the way, an empty creative energy cube, which means it will never get filled up. And this is a creative energy cube that's infinite as far as power is concerned, so it can never run out. So I wanna show you the difference here. So if I plug this cable into here, you can see that the middle line is actually completely clear. But if I plug it into a power source, you can see that it turns green. You can see the difference there. If I compare the two, kind of a green, U in the middle line versus completely clear. So now I'm gonna bring these two together and now the whole thing fills with green, which means that you're good to go. And this thing is receiving power, although you can't tell because it will never fill up. And this thing is losing the power, which again, you really can't tell. Now I'm actually in creative. So let me grab an actual energy cube and uh, show you guys what the dealio is. So let's take this out, place this down and now it is filling up. So. Cables are for power. Logical argument, you plug your phone into a cable. Easy stuff, right? Easy stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, move it out of my way. The next one we're going to discuss is the mechanical pipes. And there's another logical argument that's just as easy to follow with this. So first of all, you begin with eight steel ingots on either side and eight buckets, or you can just use one, one steel ingot on both sides and one bucket will give you eight basic mechanical pipes. I just happen to have enough of all the material to make a full stack. So here's what we're going to be sending across. And once again, if you know your math or if you know your science, then you know that millibuckets per tick is going to be a liquid. Well, I guess the gases are also kind of measured in millibuckets too, but here's the logical argument. Whenever you turn on your water in your house, where does the water come from? Well, it comes from a faucet, right? Or a shower or something like that. But where is that getting the water from? Well, water pipes, we all know that. We always call water 
uh, or uh, the plumbing pipes. We don't call plumbing cables and we don't call plumbing tubes and we don't call plumbing transporters or conductors. We call it pipes. So we know that anytime we're transferring a liquid here in mechanism, we have to use pipes. And the crafting is really easy too, because if you don't have pipes, what are you gonna transfer liquid in? You can let, transfer water, you can transfer lava with buckets, right? Does that make sense? So steel on either side and buckets, that is how you make your mechanical pipes. And uh, now if I shift click, there you go, I've got a full stack of these things. So if I go over to this, this is a, uh, a creative fluid tank of water and a creative fluid tank that is empty. And if I slap down the cable there, it's not gonna fill up, or um, not cable, sorry, the pipe. <laughs> uh, and if I place it down here, they're both clear, right? But if I go to my configurator, and I guess I should show you guys because I haven't showed you guys this yet. Uh, to make a configurator, all you need is a stick, two infused alloy, which again, you get from your metallurgic infuser, a lapis, which you just get out of vanilla Minecraft, and then an energy tablet, which is super simple. It's just gold with four redstones and then two infused alloys to get an energy tablet. And there you have it, you have your configurator, and this is what you use to adjust your cables. All right, so I'm gonna actually put down another cable so it's really obvious what's going on here. And then if you hover over your configurator and hit the letter I, or at least that's my keybind, then I can select what type of pipe or what type of item this will react with. So I'm gonna be dealing with fluids, also known as liquids, in, in my vernacular anyway. And if you hit shift and right click, Okay, so now it's set to push, which means the pipe is trying to push liquid into this. I don't want to push, I want to pull. And now you can see the water coming out into the pipes. Yes, exactly. This thing is still clear. That thing is blue. There you go. And now it is filling water into this tank using, once again, pipes. Super simple, super straightforward. All right, so the next one we're going to do is the tubes. And it's not just tubes, they're pressurized tubes. So, uh, let me go ahead and grab the items I need for this. This is going to be uh, steel, glass, and steel. And let me ask you this. Anytime, like in science, okay, this is a little bit more advanced, but anytime you're dealing with gases, let's say hydrogen, oxygen, uh, whatever in your science classes, what are you going to do? You're going to generally keep them inside of glass containers. You get beakers, you have tubes, you have whatever. That is how you transfer uh, gases and for them to be really effective and useful you have to pressurize them and so that's what mechanism kind of does automatically you don't have to deal with the pressurization if a factor effort with your game all you have to do is just have the gases and it's always pressurized and so you transfer gases in a pressurized tube you don't transfer gases in a cable or a pipe you could in a pipe but it wouldn't be pressurized it has to be pressurized also the transporter uh you don't transport gases that doesn't work. And then, of course, you don't conduct gases. What you do is you you uh, you send them in a tube. And, of course, tubes are made out of glass, so that's the super easy way to do it. It's always steel on both sides and glass. And, again, you can just use one of each. But uh, this time, I'm, again, I'm going to make it full stack. So you have steel, steel, and glass, and bam, there is your pressurized tubes. And so over here, I have hydrogen, infinite amounts, and then I have an empty creative chemical tank. If I place this on top, on both sides you can okay uh, uh oh come on buddy right here there we go so you can see that they're both completely clear so that means that i'm going to go into my configurator click the button i and go to gases so now i can manipulate these pipes and i can set it to pull just like before and now you can see that it is trying to pull now let me press that now these tanks are a little weird because you actually have to go in here and you have to tell it to eject the gases out the top all right, this, the only reason why I had to do that is because I put the, the cable on the top and not the side. But now you can see it's turned white versus this, which is absolutely clear. So if I place the cable here, it'll fill it up and it begins to fill the tank with the tube. Again, all gases are used, or uh, all gases use tubes. So I'm gonna go and get rid of all but one of them because I did forget there is a small part of this that I wanna show y'all. So let me, uh, let me throw these back on here. And I'll get to that in a moment. So the last thing is physical items, okay? And again, I, I'm going to make the conductors, but I've never used them, so I'm not going to demonstrate them. But let's go ahead and do the items next. The items, well, let me, let me ask you this question. If you're going to be moving items, what are you going to do? Well, you're not going to send items through a cable. That's, cables are too small. 
pipes? Well, you might could, but they're probably gonna get hung up on the elbows and stuff, right? The tubes, same thing. I mean, the item's gonna get hung up. These are pressurized, it's probably gonna crush your items anyway. So, what about a transporter? Do you transport items? Think about, like, a belt, right? One of those um, uh, belt uh, assembly lines, right? They're usually on some sort of belt, and the items are being transported. So if you want to send actual physical items like cobblestone, iron ingots, whatever, dirt blocks, you can use transporters. And it's a logistical, which means it's smart. And that's why you need this basic control circuit, which again is made into your metallurgic infuser. Watch that video if you haven't seen it. So steel on either side, basic control circuit. Here are your logistical transporters. Shift click and bam, there is an entire stack of logistical transporters. So as you can see here, I have a bin, it's got 191 cobblestone, and here's another bin, it's completely empty, so if I wanted to send the items across, this one has to be connected before anything will happen, and I have to have the configurator set to the right thing, which is items. Okay, so now I'm gonna send this, I'm gonna tell it don't push, because that's pushing from the tube into the bin. No, no, we wanna pull. And now you can see the items are physically being transported out of here. Or, or, well, out of here and into here, which is pretty sweet. So transporting items physically is the only way to go. So, uh, last one once again is the thermo, what is it called? Thermodynamic conductors. This is how you make them. Steel, copper, and steel. If you know anything about science, then you know that um, the best conductor is copper. Or at least the best, like, reasonably priced conductor is copper and so that's how you make these thermodynamic conductors steel steel and copper uh i'm gonna make them i don't again i've never used them before i'm sure they have a reason but i'm not gonna demonstrate because again i played an entire playthrough of mechanism like 30 or 40 episodes and i never had to use them so we're just gonna ignore that so now that you guys have seen all of them in action here is the quick overview power is for think about your phone cables and you can see that's the kind of cable we have it, it's got the lightning bolt right so if you ever if you're looking at a line of let's see if you're looking at a line of cables on the ground you're not entirely sure what's in there there's an app or there's a mod called uh here's what you're looking at or hwyla and you can just hover over it and you can see a little box that'll show up and tell you what's in there but if you don't have that like i don't then you can just look on the end and you can see the lightning bolt so now you know this is a power cable probably shouldn't mess with this right same thing with the mechanical pipe. It's got a specific thing about it that is very unique. It doesn't have any kind of label, okay? Not like this one, not like this one. It's completely clear, but it has a solid green line. That's because liquids, well, they look solid, right? So um, even though they're liquid, they, they look, you know, solid, clear, but solid. It's, it's hard, it's hard to understand, especially in comparison to something like this, where the square on the inside has uh, is speckled, it's ridged, right? That's because items aren't quite as smooth looking as this. That's how I remember it anyway. So the square has two different colors. It's got ridges because the items are generally not super smooth or pretty, whereas this is a smooth, nice edge. And so it just looks, it's smooth, right? So this is for liquids. And the, the way you tell the difference between this one and say like this one is, well, you see that little circle right there? I always imagine that as like a gas molecule, okay? Gas molecules are very small, uh, and obviously this is hydrogen in here, which is the smallest gas particle you can get. And so think of it as like a, a gas molecule, just a little circle inside of another circle. This has nothing, no picture, so you have to look at the ring, it's solid. This ring here, for items, it's not solid. It's, it's, it's a little bit imperfect. It's got a design to it. So if you have all of these next to one another, right, and they're all lined up, then now you should be able to tell which ones are which, right? Shouldn't be that difficult, as long as you pay attention to the details that are different between all of them. You have your lightning bolt, that's power. You have a smooth, nice and smooth circle or square, that's for your fluids, those are mechanical pipes there. You have your gases, which is a little circle, and you have your rougher square, which is your actual items. So, uh, guys, I hope that helps. I think that we have fully explained all of that. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, post them down in the comments. If you have any deeper questions, obviously, you can go to my Discord server and ask there. Other than that, that's going to do it for me today. Be sure and look forward to uh, future mechanic or <laughs> future mechanism guides. We got lots of them coming, and it's hopefully all going to be helpful. Like the video, subscribe. Remember, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.